So we're in chapter seven um, of your chemistry book, and we're talking about the periodic table. As we were talking about the periodic table, we went over the classifications in, in um, metals and non-metals, metals, non-metals, non and semi-metals um, onto the classification of different columns here. Um, in the next part of the chapter, we're gonna talk about um, some metals and onto um, the classification of the difference between the alkali, this column, and this column. So we're gonna be talking about just these two columns. In this column, the first column we have, um, of course, um, uh, hydrogen, but we're not talking about gonna talk about hydrogen. Hydrogen has some characteristics of its own, and so does helium. So we're gonna go down here and talk about these and these. We're gonna start with lithium, um, sodium, sodium's Na, right? You know that, potassium is K down here, this whole column. And these, all this whole column is gonna act alike. And then we're gonna talk about this column here, which is the alkaline earth metals. And we'll see magnesium and calcium and ber um, ber uh, beryllium and onto these others, barium and radium, all these, this whole column will react, um, react similar um, to each other. And they'll combine similar. And a lot of these combine, well, they'll, a lot of these combine over here with the halogens, which is another main cat, uh, category here. So um, halogens and onto the alkynes. So let's get begin. I just wanted to show you where they were in the periodic table. So let's go, we did all this right here. Um, the periodicity of chemical properties. And we're gonna talk about these alkali metals. So what about those alkali metals in column one? This is, these are some things they, they combine with. And so we're gonna know these because they all combine the same way. So if you have one in that column, you can actually fit it into um, a chemical formula pretty easily into um, uh, going, going, taking it from that column. So the, the basically um, these metals, the first three alkali metals are lithium, sodium, and potassium. And um, they have some characteristic. Let's go over their characteristics. They have lower densities than water usually. You can usually um, cut them with a knife, like in that picture. See how you can cut it right with the knife? So they're metals that you cut, you know? And um, they uh, actually melt at very low temperatures for metals, but they're very reactive. They react very easily, especially, well, with a lot of different things. Let's just say that, especially, and especially with halogens. Um, they are never found in their free state. They're always found um, to be either an ion, you know, or in combined. So they're never found in their free state. Um, their uh, reactivity increases, you know, as you go down in that group. So if, as you go down the group, you went down the group, we went down from lithium to sodium to potassium. As you go down in that group, you'll find that they actually, um, that they react even more. Potassium reacts the most out of those three that are listed. And they also react with oxygen and water vapor in the air very easily. So they're very reactive to the air. If there's water vapor in the air, they'll react. And also if there's oxygen in the air. And all three, all three of these, and all, all on that list here, all three of these will react with water. So those are some things about the alkali metals. And you need to know like three characteristics, I think, of those. So you know they can be cut easily with a um, knife. Sodium reacts very vigorous with water when you put sodium in water, reacts that way. So it's like these are very reactive um, alkali. They call them alkali, number, column number one. And so if you look at this column here, you can see this group here, let's look at this group here. You can see how um, uh, sodium and potassium um, react very vigorously um, with water. You see, okay, here's, here, here's, here are the, the um, equations that we need to know, not just formulas, but they're equations. So we know here, the equations here would be lithium. So we see how you say two lithium solids react with two water, water's a liquid, H2O is a liquid, and they'll perform hydrogen, hydrogen will be left out, and then lithium hydroxide. OH means hydroxide. So see how they, they make um, hydro, they, they react making hydrogen and lithium hydroxide. Sodium the same way. Two sodiums, Na is sodium, 
solids react with um, two molecules of water, liquid water, and then we have, um, they'll pr produce NaOH solid, which is sodium hydroxide, and then they'll give off some hydrogen. Same with potassium, K means potassium. You need two Ks and you'll have two things of water, and then you'll it will produce um, a hydrogen gas and then also um, potassium hydroxide. These are how they react and they react very vigorously with water, giving off hydrogen gas. So just remember that. So if you have any of these in this column, you can just plug them in here. You see how this is balanced. If you look how it's balanced, you have to make sure it's balanced. So we have, let's look, we have, um, if we look here, it can balance two lithiums, two lithiums. So we have um, two, um, you know, see four hydrogens here. We have two, we have two and four hydrogens. So four hydrogens on this side. Um, oxygen, two oxygens, two oxygens there. So they, make sure these, that's how all of these balance out. So that's how when it reacts with water. So let's go on in addition. Here, here actually um, is in addition to this uh, vigorous reaction between alkaline metals and chlorine. So now you have these alkali metals here, lithium, um, sodium, and potassium. Na is sodium and K is potassium. And they're reacting with chlorine. So as you have chlorine there, what happens? So two lithiums and there's, remember chlorine, all, mo most of these types of atoms are, always have to come in two. They don't stand on their own. So it'd be chlorine two, so you have to add a two here. So two lithiums, two chlorines equal two lithiums and chlorines solids. These are pretty easy. So two sodiums and two chlorines, two, two um, sodium chloride, which sodium chloride's there. So on to uh, potassium, chlorine, potassium chloride. So potassium and chlorine, potassium chloride. See how they are? And if you balance these out, they just balance out. And so the, they also, let's go up the top here, the alkali metals also are active enough with um, hydrogen at um, elevated tempers to form hydri so hydrides. So here we have lithium and sodium and potassium, they're all liquids, and they react with hydrogen gas to form lithium, lithium hydride, um, sodium hydride, potassium hydride. So hydrogen's another one. And these hydrides, you could take these hydrides um, and they will, re they will react um, to, to produce hydrogen gas and a metal hydroxide. So if you took, uh, so you say you took um, NaH, here's this solid, this one here, NaH solid, and you put it with water, then you're going to actually, it's gonna form, it's gonna give off this hydrogen from the water, and it's gonna form um, sodium hydroxide here solid. So, and so it says sometimes this is used to remove trace amounts of water from organic solvents. So anyway, it's another way. So all of these have to do with alkali, the first column, and how they react. So um, here we have, it says some reactions of alkali metals, sodium, um, lithium, sodium, and potassium here. So um, we have, you know, lithium, sodium, and potassium um, reacting in the midst. We went over these. Oh, these are reacting with um, halogens, actually. So you'll find that. So um, the formula, these are reactions um, with lithium, sodium, and potassium, the formulas, and we have um, how they would react in this section. So um, M equals lithium. This M just means it can be either lithium, sodium, or potassium. And it says reacting with water. We went over these. It reacts with a halogen. Uh, chloride is a halogen. And fluorine is fluorine's a hal halogen too. So you can just plug in this halogen and you can get this. And so when you're gonna make, when you're gonna make a um, equation, it says, can you uh, make an equation um, with this, um, this alkali reacting with a halogen? You just take this equation. If you're gonna make it in another equation, for reacting with water, you're just gonna take this equation and fill in the blanks with whatever halogen you have or whatever um, uh, alkali you have and water. And the same with this, you just, and you just fill in one, two, three, whatever these are, and then hydrogen, and then onto, um, this is a reaction with hydrogen. Reaction with hydrogen, reaction with halogens, and reaction with water. 
They're going to ask you, these are going to be some questions, and just go back to this table if you need to be. So the other column we're going to talk about, um, we've finished that column, we're going to talk about the second column I told you about, and they're alkaline earth metals. Remember, the first are alkali metals, and the second are alkaline earth metals. Earth metals are a little bit different. They all have lower um, densities than water, just like the alkali, but they also have similar, they're very similar to group one, but they're not as vigorous. They don't react as vigorously. Um, usually they're kind of the silvery white, malleable, you know, ductile material, um, and they're less soft, but they have, um, they're less soft than the alkali, but they have higher densities and melting points than column one, and they're less reactive than column one alkali. But they still are too reactive to be found free in nature. So you don't just find them free. They're usually found as ions or such. They're not just found free. They're usually reactive. And they burn bright with oxygen and they make this white metal oxides. These are the, the earth metals, alkaline earth metals. So let's go up here and let's show what they react to. And so in this first column here, these um, basically, um, especially magnesium and oxygen, let's go up here, it says alkaline earth metals, magnesium, calcium, serenium, um, and um, barium. You know, as you see there, they react, they react, um, and they're gonna be reacting um, with a brilliant flash of old fashioned light. That's with magnesium and all oxygen. So they react um, with oxygen. Um, pretty well. So let's look at these. Magnesium, we've got um, two magnesium, oxygen equal two mg. See how they went together here? You have to have two because oxygen always comes in twos. Remember, whenever it stands alone, um, oxygen never rarely stands alone. It usually forms two oxygens um, hook onto each other. So you always have oxygen two. So if you have oxygen two, that means you have to have a two here and two magnesium because they're equal. So basically, magnesium and oxide, calcium and oxygen right here. So serenium and um, oxygen, barium and oxygen. See how they put together? Those are pretty easy, how they react to oxygen. So these um, oxides then react with water to form insoluble, soluble metal uh, hydroxides, same as before. We're going over the same as the alkali, only now because um, of their ions, you'll find that they combine a little differently. So, um, so we have calcium, um, oxygen, basically it combines with oxygen just very, very well because this has, is, is an, um, will have a positive and this will have a negative, so they combine just really well. And so you have calcium and oxygen and you add, add water and then of course you're going to have um, uh, calcium and then you're gonna have OH2, it has to be two, because of course we need two hydrogens and we need um, two oxygens for it to balance out. So down, let's see the alkaline uh, metals here. As you see, they combine well, um, uh, um, of course, at room temperature. Magnesium does not react with cold water, but reacts with steam. And the rest of them um, react with water. So you can see how they're react reacting with water at this magnesium and water but to, um, to, turning to um, magnesium hydroxide with a let go of hydrogen. Same with calcium, calcium hydroxide, and they let go of hydrogen. And now to serenium hydroxide, they let go. Same with barium as, go, as you go through there. So, so you can see how they react similar and how um, you, with hydrogen, they react um, quite well. I'll just say that. So um, going on, alkaline earth metals react with halogens. So a halogens in that column, you know, clear on the other side with the column of fluorine and chloride, that column, um, uh, number 17 column. And so we have calcium plus um, chlorine, and they come together, and you have calcium chlorine. See how they came together with a halogen? Pretty spiffy, huh? <laughs> And um, going on to the similar group of metals, a calcium. Um, and notice that notice here that calcium has two 
Calcium is in column two, so it, it has, it's gonna have two um, positive, and so the chlorine only has one negative, so you need two chlorines to react to that, because it's a halogen. So this chlorine only has one negative ion, and calcium has two negative. That's why you need a, a two of chlorine to match up with one of calcium. And that's gonna be the same with all of the, the um, halogens coming together with um, an, uh, earth metals here, alkaline earth metals. Similar to group one metals, the hydrides of the alkaline earth metals can be formed. So here we have, you know, um, they're, they're going to react with hydrogen. So you have calcium with hydrogen, you need two of a hydrogen, that's because it's uh, it's going to be a positive one in calcium uh, in the calcium here. So you're going to actually have, as you put these together, our positive two going together with hydrogen. See how they react with hydrogen. Um, so you have calcium and hydrogen. Make sure that they just balance out. Same here. So these hydrides react with water to form hydrogen gas and the metal hydroxide, similar to what we had in with the alkaline metals. So here we go, calcium, hydrogen, reacting with water. So we look here, since we have calcium hydroxide, we have two, we need two of these. We have to make sure they balance out. We have two hydrogen, we have two hydrogen here. Actually, we have four hydrogen because it gives off two hydrogen gas. Instead of one hydrogen gas, two hydrogen. So we have two hydrogens, four hydrogens, four hydrogens on this side. And so then we look here and we also have the oxygens that we have, um, uh, two oxygens and two oxygens here. Calcium, so it balances out. So, and this is the, this is the formulas here. I say formulas, it's actually how to make an equation. So when you say, when you're gonna to ask to make an equation, you can look here, M would be magnesium, calcium, serenium, uh, barium, all right here. These numbers, M, G, C, A, C, R. And so you can fill the blanks in there, right? You combine with oxygen, and this is how it combines. So, and then you combine with water, and this is how it will combine. And you combine with a halogen, which is like chlorine, uh, chlorine is a halogen, or fluorine um, is a halogen. And as you combine these here, you just fill in the blanks and you have reaction with hydrogen. You can see how they reacted here in these situations, the formula. These are the formulas and these are the equations on this side. So if you have a question, um, you just go to these tables and it becomes very easy. So I know it seems kind of complicated, but it's really, really not. And once you start doing them, you just fill, them, fill the blanks in with the tables. The other thing that we're talking about is we're gonna be talking about um, combining capacity. So combining capacity is Basically, combining capacity of elements, um, the number of atoms which an element may combine with in a main group. And so you'll see this um, combining cap capacities of elements in periods two and three. So um, you'll see these groups, which are our main groups. So period two means across, right? And so you'll see how they combine with those across. So if you have um, with, with column one, you combine this way, and the combining capacities of each one of these across here. So here's actually um, chlorine, how chlorine, you take um, combining capacities of two and three, we're, all, we're gonna take chlorine, how chlorine combines with those in column one, which are alkaline, and column two are alkal alkaline earth metals, and then um, onto you know, um, column 13, column 14, column 15, yeah, three, four, um, three, two, tells how they combine all the way across. And the same um, with, that's all period two, that whole line of period two, this is period three, the same thing. Of course, these are the same, um, three, and this one's the chlorine, and these are the same. See how the chlorines are the same? So this one's a little different, so. Combining capacity, one to one, two to one, three to one, that means three chlorines to one, four to one, and this is three to one. So you kind of look at this to see, and this is period two and period three, so those are the going across. Periods are crossed, and that's the combining capacities. So um, from the previous discussion, it should be clear that the reaction of elements within the same group 
and the formula, formulas of the resulting compounds are similar. See how similar those are in that same group. So that's the combining capacity. So now we have a problem here. So let's see. The problem is what? Molten lithium is one of the most reactive substances known, reacting with almost every other element except noble gases. Remember, lithium is in that column of uh, alkalis, the first column. And so it reacts about everything. Predict the reaction of molten lithium with each of the following elements if it forms Li2 oxygen with oxygen. So um, basically wanting to know. So let's see how you do this. They kind of tell you how to do it up here. Let's look, see what they say. Let's move this up. Uh, okay. Since iodine and chlorine are in the same group, so iodine and chlorine are in that same group, and cesium and sodium are in the same group, the formula should be analogous to what sodium, sodium chloride, so sodium chloride, because you're going to need, so it tells you to predict um, based about, about group one and group two. Um, what did I say? Oh, I'm going to say, I'm in the wrong question. I'm sorry. I'm like, what? Let's go up to example um, eight, two. Let's read it over. I'm sorry. So based on what you've learned in this section about group one and group two, predict the following, the formula for iodine and cesium. So here we have the formula of iodine and cesium. So the for, form, uh, the formula, um, iodine and sesame are in the same, basically, um, sodium chlorine and sesame iodine. So if you took sesame and um, sodium, they're in the same column, and chlorine and iodine, and they both combine perfectly with each other. So this question, the formula for iodine and sesame would be um, um, sodium, um, from the group sodium um, sodium, uh, sodium chlorine chloride and onto um, onto um, the reaction okay let's see based on what you guys thought that's the groups it's kind of kind of weird it says iodine and cesium are in the same group and so they can react if they wanted to show you what they react the formula for iodine of cesium, the reaction between water and rubidium. So water reacts with the alkali metals to form hydrogen gas and the metal hydroxide from table 8.4. Thus, two rubidiums plus water will equal rubidium hydroxide and relieve in two uh, hydrogen gas, you know, um, H, H hydrogen gas here. So, so this would be the formula. The formula for um, fluoride of calcium. So since fluoride is the same group as chlorine, and the formula of calcium chloride is CaCl2, the formula of calcium fluoride should be CaF2. You just fill in the blank there. The reaction between um, strontium and hydrogen. So here we have uh, strontium. Oh. I thought it was serenium, but it's strontium. I'm sorry, strontium, strontium and hydrogen here. So strontium should react with hydrogen to produce hydride. So you put them together. This being um, with, the, with the hydrogen, you get strontium um, hydrogen, hydride. So anyway, that's how you do that, those questions. On to the review, and this is where I was in the review and then we got mixed up. At least I did. Molten lithium is one of the most reactive substances known, reacting with almost every other element except noble gases. Predict the reaction of molten lithium with each of the following elements if it forms lithium um, oxygen with oxygen. So um, fluorine. So um, we will react with with um, fluorine, and as you react with fluorine, and then you'll react with sulfur. So let me get that answer here. Lithium and fluorine. So we have two lithiums. Let's see if I can put this up here so you can see it better. And I put down these equations. And 
Hopefully they're right. <laughs> so here we go. So you have lithium and fluorine. If you have two lithiums plus um, fluorine, which comes in twos, you'll have um, two lithium fluorine. Pretty easy for that one. Okay. So the next question says, oh, I didn't go, I didn't do the one on sulfur, but we'll skip that right now. So it took seven tons of the mineral pitch blend to isolate one grams of radioactive element radium. Predict the reactions of radium with each of the following. Be sure to balance your equations. So there's all right in this. See them here? So we have radium, which is an alkaline earth metal, and with oxygen. So we plugged in um, two radium plus O2 is going to, um, because these uh, radium have a, po a positive one and oxygen have a negative two, we have to have two of them. So two radium plus oxygen equal two radium oxygen here. Now liquid, um, liquid, is it bromine? Bromine, yep, same thing. We have radium and we have bromine. And so it's the same thing. Bromine actually now is a bromine two because it doesn't come in um, ones. Of course, it come, always comes together in two. Same thing, so we have radium plus bromine two and we have radium um, bromine two, this one. So, with the bromine category. So, um, going on the next, water, radium plus water, hyd um, radium hydroxide here, um, plus giving off hydrogen. So, what it's going to give off is one hydrogen instead of two hydrogen. So, we have radium, which is in the um, column one, which is just one positive, goes in with water. So combining with water will give off one hydrogen. So then hydrogen with radium plus hydrogen, it's gonna basically look, uh, it look like radium, uh, radium, um, hydrogen. Actually, I think um, radium having one and hydrogen with one, I think with two that we're gonna actually have it to give up, it needs to give off another hydrogen. So I didn't put that in there, but. So going on to, um, let's go down, see if you can go down a little lower. Let's see if I can go down. Okay, you see this here? This is the last questions here. So the next question, um, what was the, let me look at the question here. It says, predict the formulas and compounds of fluorine for each of the ones. So um, here's a number three. So we have fluorine there combining with um, rubidium. So you'll need two rubidium solids with a fluorine gas, which is two, and it will equal two rubidium fluorines. So they combine, this is combining with a halogen, which is fluorine. Down here is selenium, selenium plus um, fluorine. It's going to be selenium fluorine, but you need two of these to go with these because selenium's in the um, alkali earth, the second column, so it has two. So it's actually gonna have two positives, and this is one, so you could have two fluorines to one of those. Tin, SN is tin, tin with um, two fluorines because tin has two positives. So it has to go with um, fluorine equals um, SNF4 because basically you have four on this side. So if you have four fluorines here, that's four, two fluorines would be fluorine two plus two. So you can have SN4 in the midst of that. You just have to look at the periodic table with these two. And then barium, barium, fluorine, here we go. That's just pretty easy. Phosphorus, I'm not sure about this phosphorus. Let's skip that one. And then down to hydrogen here would be um, C plus two of, or why do I have hydrogen in there? Well, anyway, let's forget about that one too. <laughs> so we'll have to go and I'll, I'll go over those in the next video.